On August 20th, 2012, the OUMC Youth Group went on a mission trip to Washington, D.C. to explore issues of hunger and homelessness. The week included hands-on work with various charitable organizations, interactions with the homeless, selling the newspaper Street Sense, and time for reflection and fun. The youth want to thank everyone who made the trip possible. The following video connects their memories of the trip with the Christmas story. Making the connection. I think that the reason that Jesus was born in a homeless situation, um, being laid down in the manger, it's very humble surroundings. I think that might be because God knew that um, a true savior who was gonna be king of his people would have perspective of all the kinds of people that he would be ruling over and that would be following him. Um, just because, I mean, the most important thing is perspective. We were kind of like the light, we were hoping to be the light in like the darkness, like the homeless people's lives were kind of like the darkness, like they were like poor and living on the street and didn't really have anything to eat. We were like giving them food and useful items like toothbrushes and hoping to be a light. And our shirts were also neon orange and they were really bright. So if you wanted to be literal, then I guess that would be the light shining. For me, the connection was um, going to the people and going to the homeless people, just like the wise men went to baby Jesus. And then when we were going over there, we thought they were, um, we, we had stereotypes about them. And at the end of the trip, we, we, I felt like we came back as new people. Like, we thought differently. The connection for me was that uh, the wise men, when they had heard that they were going to go see a, a king, they were expecting, uh, you know, a, a king on a, on a throne. So I guess their stereotype or their thought of the king was shot down a lot when they saw, you know, baby Jesus there and they saw him, you know, wrapped in a cloth, and it's kind of like how we, when we were going to D.C. and traveled all that way like the kings, kings did, we were, a lot of us were imagining, you know, seeing the generic uh, homeless person. We actually got exposed out there to what they were really like, and we, it was, our thought of it was also shot down. The shepherds got the, the news to go tell all the people about um, the, the new messiah how they were really scared and they never really had the responsibility. And like the, the homeless people, when we saw them, it was like we had like, they opened our world to a different thing and we never really experienced that before. Like the shepherds never experienced, the, um, never had a responsibility like that. And then there was a lot of people that were sleeping, a lot of homeless people that were sleeping on the park benches and we would, wake some of them up and ask them if they wanted gifts. Some of them would say yes or no. Well, the wise men went to Jesus and gave him a gift. And then they didn't, before the journey, they didn't know what they were gonna look for. But then after, they knew what to expect. The connection for me was when Jesus was born on Christmas and then he brought hope to the world, like we brought hope to the homeless people. It was fun and I learned a lot and it was a really big eye-opener. So the night before when I was packing, and I was packing stuff like my jeans and my t-shirt and my toothbrush and everything, getting ready for the trip the next day, I had a whole bunch of feelings going through my, my head and I was just asking myself questions like, what was it gonna be like? How would I react to everything? And I just didn't really know what to expect. And just like Mary didn't know what to expect when she received the news that she was having a baby. It was kind of sad how they turned her down like when there wasn't enough room, but they did actually give her a place in the barn, but it was kind of sad that they had traveled all that way. And then it's kind of like if you get to like a homeless shelter and you traveled all that way and they say, oh no, there's not enough food or there's not enough place to stay. I was like pretty nervous about like how to do it because I haven't really been told like, this is 
be a kind of person, do this to them or do that. So I'm guessing she felt pr pretty nervous not knowing like what was gonna happen. Like if she was, if things were gonna turn out good or bad. Well, there was a woman named Candy and she was upper middle class, married, um, I think she was a nurse. And her and her husband got divorced and she became sick and she lost her house and she started to live in a shelter. If she hadn't have been homeless and gone through that, then she wouldn't be there to speak to people like us who live in a small town and have no idea what it's like to see, to even see homeless people. I connected the story of Joseph and Candy because Joseph was scared and he didn't know what was gonna happen. His wife was pregnant and it wasn't his child. And Candy was homeless and she didn't know what was gonna happen. And um, it both, for both of them, it turned out to be, it worked out in the end for both of them. Um, bringing joy, I think, is a really big part, not only of the holidays, but the Christmas message. I don't think it was only joyful to the people who received the food, but also to the volunteers that can help out at the organization. I know a lot of us felt joy and happiness knowing that we were providing a meal for someone, even though we weren't meeting them face to face. I feel it was, it changed me a little bit. Like, it was really fun to help out. We live on Ocracoke and you don't see this every day. Like, you don't think, oh, that person has to worry when their next meal will come. But knowing that we provided, you know, we bagged 250 meals that would go to someone made us feel really good inside. Mary and Joseph went to an inn and um, they were trying to get a room because Jesus was going to be born and there was no room so they ended up having to stay in a manger and in a sense they were kind of homeless because they didn't have a home. It was a good learning experience. Um, it was sad a lot when I saw the homeless people but I also felt happy when like we gave them a lunch and like a smile would just come to their face and they're very glad and um, they were very appreciated. Yeah, we just um, yelled street sense and like when we were yelling that, many people turned down our offers and they pretended like they were on the phones or they ignored us or they started to put their iPod in or something and just walked past us and looked down. The street sense was us getting turned down by people, everyday people just ignoring and that's how Mary and um, Joseph got turned down when they went to the inn. There was no room for them and they got to, they had to go to the barn. Homeless people are just everyday people who don't have a home or enough money. So they're just like, they're just like us. We could be homeless any day. Like, it's that simple.